Well, there's no crop growing at the Oshkosh airport, but in the past few days, they've had the big air show going on. Oh yes, he was looking for something in agriculture there. Our friend Chad Colby reports. Reporting from Oshkosh, Wisconsin this week at the largest air show in the world. In fact, it's the busiest airport in the world. Why? Because over 10,000 airplanes make their way here every year. You're going to see old warbirds, a ton of general aviation, and a lot of exciting stuff from our military. But you know what? For me, the tie is the tie to agriculture. We had a chance to sit inside of an air tractor, basically the latest, greatest crop duster, if you would. And let me tell you, the sophistication in that ship was amazing. We got a conversation with the guys talking about the tips and the nozzles and how they can apply dry fertilizer application and the accuracy of it and so forth. It was amazing. But we had a chance to present to a group of folks that wanted to learn more and very specifically, they wanted to learn more about drones and their applications. So we showed them the latest and greatest. There's a lot of talk of how that application is going to advance in the coming years thanks to the FAA and Part 107. It was exciting for me though to go geek out a little bit and look at the latest technology. You know, I was with the folks from Garmin and they showed us how some of their new avionics and new technologies can modernize old general aviation aircraft. That includes using those pesty little iPads that we use in agriculture. Do you know today most commercial airline pilots are using iPads for their charts and a lot of other great systems as well. We had a great time at the show. If you ever get a chance, bring your family, bring your sons and daughters, come up to Oshkosh. Trust me, I was here as a young man 20 some years ago and I can remember it like it was yesterday. Reporting for this week in agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby. I doubt if there were many crop dusters there, the aerial applicators are very busy this time of year. There's more coming up on This Week in Agribusiness.